anyone else in a rut? I'm finally coming out of my rut. I'm trying to figure out my long-term goals and like the steps I need to take in the process. And like these videos, I kind of want to just come on here and talk about whatever's on my mind because I know that you guys are going through it too. Okay, hi guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I talk about motherhood, I talk about pregnancy. We do things pretty natural, pretty hippie, pretty granola, non-judgmental. I have a nine-month-old and like a two-year and nine-month-old. I also have an Instagram hey Shayla. I have a podcast hey Shayla where I interview some really cool people. I just found out that the podcast is in the top 5% of podcasts. Exciting. And if you like my sweatshirt, Grow Good Humans, kind of a natural parks vibe, heyshayla.com slash shop. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I have kind of a headache. I'm feeling a little like, I was going to do like the walk around pace thing, high energy. Haven't quite had my coffee because first I had my greens. If you like greens, mine are first form greens. Um, I'm working with them and I'm affiliated with them. I'll put the link in the description. I love them. Started with that, I had some bone broth. Now I'm onto my coffee and my water. So I wanted to like be more energetic, but my headache is literally throbbing and here we are. The rut. I feel like all of us, not all of us, but I've been getting a lot of DMs too where they're like, yeah girl, what is happening? And I just learned and I know nothing about this. So I'm only regurgitating this from like a post that I saw. All planets are no longer in retrograde. So we're gonna catapult forward. Everything's gonna be better. Because I feel like we started the new year and everyone's like, yeah, new year, new me, goals. And like, that's how I am. I am such a goal person. First of all, I created my own goal worksheet. If you want that, it's also heyshayla.com slash shop. Hey Shayla will give you a discount too. But it goes through like personal goals, goals as a family, financial goals, recognizing things that we've done, all these things. I love doing that so much that I was like, Seth, I want to get married halfway through the year. So on our anniversary, we can go over our past goals and create new goals. I didn't tell him that right away because I feel like he'd be like, Shayla, that's too weird. But he's like, yeah, middle of the year, that's good. I was like, but the beginning of this year, I just felt like I was floundering. Like I wasn't really sure where I was going. And I think the reason why I felt that way was because of my barnacle baby. I need to get my hair done. Ooh, with some cute regrowth. I love that postpartum regrowthing. There's things I need to do that I'm not doing because I'm afraid of leaving her and just having her scream cry the whole time that I'm gone. And I know that some of you know this feeling. So I think a lot of it is coming from that, but there's so many things that I want to get done and I just feel like right now in this season of life, it's not happening as fast as I would like it to. So then I'm just like, forget it. I don't even know. I don't even know what I can get done. I don't even know what my goals are. And that's coming out in some of my videos because some of my videos are not doing well. And I'm like, yeah, well, no kidding because I just like am trying to get content out that doesn't have any heart behind it. And I hate that. I don't love that. And some people think that it's like the weather because it's winter now. So you're not getting out. We're not getting outside as much as we should. The sun is not out because it's like really cloudy. I don't think that has a lot to do with it, but I'm a big believer in like your internal thoughts are what's going to help you have a better mindset. And I'm not talking about depression. I'm talking about just like the people who are having low mood and in a rut, your thoughts. It has to start with your thoughts because I had to reframe all of my thoughts to be happier. Like I've got Ezzy who needs to be touching me at all times. And so I had to think not like, oh my gosh, this is so exhausting, but like, okay, this baby feels so comforted by me. I can be that for her. When Aaliyah is losing her mind, instead of being like, Aaliyah, what are you doing? Which sometimes I do. She looks at me a little like scared eyes and I'm like, Okay, I'm sorry. Aaliyah, can we just calm down a little bit? I like try and connect with her. I like sit down on the floor and I give her a hug and I'm like, I'm listening. What do you have to tell me? And that like diffuses it. They just like want to be heard. Okay, so this has been a process a little bit. So I started reading the book, The Universe Has Your Back. And if you're into the woo-woo stuff, you should read it. It's by Gabby Bernstein. And she's like, if you're religious or you just believe in spirits or you believe in the universe or whatever, she kind of uses all those words interchangeably. But her whole thing is just like, you need to continually connect with that higher power, right? Like whatever that is for you. And even I just did a, I had a intuitive reading on my podcast. Somebody read my past selves and my soul's purpose. And she connected with me. She connected with my higher self. You can listen to the podcast if you want more explanation on that. But like continually connecting to that helps you to stay grounded in the sense of you're not going to get so caught up in what's happening. I find that I get really distracted and just like, okay, I need to make dinner. Okay, I need to do the dishes. Oh, there's a laundry that needs to be done. And you're constantly like just thinking about the things you need to do and then going and doing them instead of sitting and being present and like, okay, the dishes, yeah, they need to get done. And the laundry, yes, we need to go do that. But I've got my kid here, right here, who wants to play puppy. 
and I'm gonna play puppy with her. It's hard because they want to play puppy for like three hours, and I uh -huh. don't love playing puppy for three hours. So I've kind of had to decide like I don't want to be on my phone as much as I am, and that's a hard one to swallow to admit that you're on the phone more than you want to be. You're like, oh. but the other hard part is that like. We don't have this village around us. Our parents might still be working, so they can't just come over whenever. Or we might be not living by our family, or we don't have the support that we thought we were gonna have. And for me, it was like a grieving process of like, oh, I'm not gonna have this village that I expected. And so I've started to create my own, and I've talked to my sister about it. We've stepped up for each other to be each other's villages. I'm gonna use daycare because that's part of my village. On the weekends, I'm gonna have my village. I'm really hoping that we can find like an au pair in a year or so. I feel like moms of this generation have to come up with their new norms and the new norms are sometimes TV is part of the village. Not all day. Like if I need just like a breather, I can hop on my phone, get a little outlet or grab a book or grab a journal for 10 minutes. And I think that social media makes it look like if you are doing screen time, you're a terrible person. And if you're doing this, you're a terrible person. And it's just... <sighs> Everything's just feeling, I'm just having a lot of feels. And for me, paying attention to what she's interested in. So I'm like, let's turn off the TV. But I only have like a few toys out. So she's like, I don't really know what to do. So I just ordered, she likes the magnet tiles, loves the magnet tiles. So I'm gonna get her more of those so that she can build bigger things instead of just like the little things. I also feel like because she likes building, I'm getting her the toy, the wood train set. And like trying to be intentional and I'm getting an indoor play gym. It's so cool. I'm excited to have that in the basement just for like, physical activity because when I interviewed someone on my podcast about the screen time, they're like, it's not necessarily the screen time that's bad. It's the time it's taking away from their physical activity that's bad. And there are some screen times that aren't great. So that's why I feel like this indoor play thing would be really cool. So I'm trying to think of like the things that she needs and then the things that I need. Like I love learning. I loved learning in school. I loved like work conferences where you went and listened to speakers all day. I loved traveling and learning from people that I met. And so now I am like kind of addicted to audiobooks and I listen to them on two speed, just like super fast, just to like gain knowledge and gain information and gain whatever. So I'm listening to this book, The Universe Has Your Back and it's totally woo, like I said. But she talks about how when you tap into that higher power, things just start flowing and things just start working for you and things just start happening. And like that feeling is so familiar to me. That is the feeling that I had when I was traveling. When I was traveling, I didn't have like a full-time job until towards the end and I made like a thousand or 1200 bucks a month, which was more than enough to pay for all of my traveling, right? But I never questioned how I was gonna make money. Just random jobs would come up and I was able to continue traveling. But like those opportunities were just popping up and I didn't stress about it. I didn't worry about what was coming next. I didn't worry. I was so in flow. Like things were just, it was just so incredible. And I think motherhood halted that where I was just like, where is my flow? And it halted it because I needed to learn my new flow. And I have no idea what that looks like right now. Like I don't know what flow in motherhood looks like. I've been trying to think of like, what do I want? I would love, love to go to in-person events and like talk and connect with people and share. But then I'm like, well, what would I speak about? What would somebody be like, hey, Sheila, can you come to our event to talk about this? And I'm like, I wanna be the person that goes and talks about how to take on this new role of motherhood with an open mind and so much grace and like joy. And I think that that is something that I am learning how to do and something that I learned from traveling of just like not having any expectations not judging anyone for doing it differently because literally everywhere I went, everybody was doing things differently. And I was like, okay, this works for you, this works for you. And I think I've pulled that into motherhood, like an online mom group or something. I don't know, I'm still kind of trying to work out the details, but it started to like come together. And it's like one of those things where I'm like, I wanna host a conference. I wanna host a big event where I can have speakers come in and I can meet all these people. Like I wanna be the person that provides that community. That to me is not an unreasonable goal. It's like, I don't know how I'm gonna get that done, but like, that's something that I think would be so cool and that I think so many moms need. And so if you're kind of in a rut right now too, and you're trying to figure out how to get out of it, the first thing that I would say is be as present as you can, whoever you're with. So like if you're with your kids, when I'm like really losing it and just like all over the place, I try and just sit down with them and just like literally look her in the eyes, play puppy and play doctor and play whatever she's playing. She really is a marathon puppy player where I have to be like, okay, 
well, we need to do something else now. So we just got her in swimming lessons. I like to leave the house and go do things. I think I'm gonna get her in some dance lessons so we can leave the house and go do things and she can be with other people. And I guess if you're also in a rut, being present, but also just like being aware of like what works. She loves the magnet tiles. Okay, so maybe give her something else to build with. Like I love getting out of the house. So let's get in events that we can do with. So like instead of focusing on like all the negative things that aren't working, try and keep your mind to the positive things that are working. And this is something I'm working on too. And this book, she says she does this tapping thing where she goes, peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. And I'm literally imagining, I haven't done this yet, being in the kitchen, trying to make dinner, Kids are screaming. I'm guilty that Aliyah has been watching screens for too long. As he like needs to eat and I'm like about to lose it and I just go, peace begins with me inside. I need to calm my inside state because they are gonna feed off my energy and I just need to relax and just try and let it go. Think about the mom you want to be. You don't have to think about what job you're gonna get, what hobby you're gonna get, what side hustle you're trying to start. Don't think about any of that if that's not on your radar. Think about, I wanna be the calm mom that connects with my kids, that my kids feel safe with, that I understand my kids. Maybe I'm not the organic chef mom, but I'm the one that like they feel co comfortable with. And maybe we do macaroni and cheese for dinner, we get outside, or maybe we don't get outside as much as we should, but we do lots of crafts inside, or whatever it is. Like Think about the person you wanna be and how it feels to be that person. Get off your phone and think critically about how to make things work better. So I'm finally coming out of my rut. I'm trying to figure out my long-term goals and like the steps I need to take in the process. And then also just trying to be as present as I can with whoever I'm with. And like these videos, I kind of want to just come on here and talk about whatever's on my mind because I know that you guys are going through it too. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be like, okay, yeah, that all makes sense too much. Or yeah, that makes sense. I need to give it a go. I hope that this video is not super boring but you could relate to it and that you at least got pieces of it that will hopefully work for you i kind of i think i just want to share my thoughts with you guys let me know what you think all right i'll talk to you guys later bye